Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prachapati. In this video, I will be telling you how we can uh, write a select statement in PySpark. Okay, so the ask is that we have this data frame, right? And here we have a column names like ID, name, age. You can see over here that the column names are not in a correct format. We have ID, you know, some letters are in capital letters, some in small letters, some letters are in, you know, name, some letters are in capital letters, some are in small letter. And in this age, we have in a, you know, we have in a capital letter. Now, the thing is, we have to save this data frame into some location. Maybe it could be a table, it could be a delta lake or whatever. And we have to make the data, uh, make the column names in a correct format, in upper letter or lower letter. Then how we can do that? Cool. Let's see. So there are multiple ways to do. So first way is that I can go with display, right? And I can write def select, right? And I will use here call. So call means to get the column name, column, right? Value, column value. So I'm saying, okay, ID, and I will convert this with this to alias. I'm using here alias, and I'm changing the name to ID. Likewise, I can go with, you know, other, other column names. So let me copy this put it over here comma here right and here I will use n a m small e and I will change to name cool and here the age in a capital letter so I will use here age and here I will use age in a small letter perfect now let me import some libraries pyspark dot sql dot functions import col call now let me is it correct now this is select over here. okay now if i run this then you will see we have the correct output id name age in a small letter now there is a different way by which we can do so let's see how we can do so i'll uh, again write df now i will use here with column okay and here in the first parameter i will use the new name and here i will use this you know already existing column so that is i capital d small letter cool and with column again i will use with so let me let me let me let me copy it okay let me copy from dot cool and put it over here put it over here same same thing i will do change the parameters or you know this should be age and this should be you know a small letter and then we have this should be small letter name and cool let's run this oh no problem now you will see we have the correct output oh no 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 let me run this code again since this is the sourcing code right and if i do it now then oh again it is saying me the same thing this should be in small letter id i have you know mistakenly let me write here name and this should be like this i just wrote vice versa no problem it happens sometimes okay and uh, this is the id this is the id cool and this is the small letter and the value is present in capital letter h let me source the data frame again and let me just run this so you will see that you know we have the correct output id name h is small letter now you can assume if we having around 100 columns 10 columns 20 columns then would you write would you would you be able to write these kind of a state state uh, select statements with column statements no you will not write it right so what uh, what we can do we can if you remember that we have one function called df dot column not column functions we have it right so i will use that and if i run this then you will see it will return the list of the columns id name age so cool now what i will do why can't i iterate it so i can write, write like this and print of i now it will give me one by one column name now why can't i use here lower so we have a function in you know in spark not in spark in python lower so i can use that now what i'll do i'll just quickly write here display of df dot select and here i will write for i in what df dot columns cool now since i want to use the column so i can use call of i and this has to be alias right so i will use here alias of what i but i needs to be 
in a lower letter lower uh, format so i can use this now since this is a loop this is the you know list uh, iteration so i can you know put in a list now if i run this then you will see we have the correct output now i am if if i am saying hey saga i want to only select the uh, two columns starting two columns then you can you know put this condition you know uh, 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 zero column two like this right suppose i'm i'm saying hey i want only one column or maybe if in in some other places we 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 want to use only uh, you know uh, a, la a a last column then you can use you know whatever the indexing in python you have right so you can use everything over there so this is the way you know how you can how how you can play with the selected statements cool i hope that you have understood this concept and please practice this apart from this this is one this is the course on my website build real time delta lake project using pyspark and spark sql with databricks here i have mentioned everything you know about the course content so it's totally 8 hours or 18 hours of content two modules 64 sessions so you, the, in the first module i will be i am i i have covered the basic stuff of uh, delta lake what is databricks and the stuff and and in the in the second uh, module i have covered the project right it's an end-to-end -end project where i have covered all the architecture video understanding the requirement how to create a blob storage and other stuff and i have i have also given the source data set files and uh, some scenarios based you know uh, project i have given you so you can see there are multiple videos right i have even up told you what is workflow how we can use workflows right manual and notebook setup kit repository in, in in database how to use power bi and if you want to watch this video you can watch this video and then you can take this course i hope that you have understood this video and please practice more more and more because database is very vast nowadays right and every company every company is using database so do not you know think that you know database well you know spark well practice 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 makes a man perfect so please do not stop your practice if you want to learn something uniquely right and if you want to earn more money in this time chalo thank you bye bye